Jim here, and today we're going to be continuing playing Danganronpa 2. Last episode, we are in a fun house, and we are forced to kill each other. If we don't, we will starve to death, so let's get right into the video, shall we? So we're going to hang out with Fihiko. So Fihiko! Damn it! So let's go. How much longer do we have to stay in this place? I feel like it's going to make me rot to death. Is it an issue? Yeah. In fact. Huh. Yeah, sure. That doesn't sound awful. So that's the time talking to Fihiko. Fiyuk and I grew a little closer. Yes. So what will he like? Well, hey, what about the antique doll I got? Will he like that? Oh, and I also get I also got some more gifts, but that's not very much. Antique doll here. For you. What do you say? Are you serious? Okay with that? I mean, do you have any idea what this thing is worth? Man, I don't know what to say. I never thought I'd get something amazing at a place like this. Huh. Hajime, I never forget I'll never forget this favor. Hey Fuyuhiko. How that you how that someone on your huh? stomach doing? It's fine, nothing to worry about. I thought you said that. You must have abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. Hmm, hmm I just have Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. There's nothing strong about that. You know, I did something about this when I was in the hospital. Like, maybe this was all a dream. A dream, huh? How great would that be? Ah, uh, sorry, obviously you've been thinking about that more than I would. That's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up till now. As long as I, I'm burning with the Yakuza name, I'll always be dealing with a mountain of bodies. But you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumping each other, but they're off like this. The guys have always known violence and death. I see, he's huh. used to it. Are you scared to talk to me? Huh? Jeez. There's no need to hide it. I used to be treated with caution hey. by everyone. The world is a barbaric place, especially in my world. Everyone now tries to sell things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. <laughs> my old man likes to say, predators are always stronger than their prey. He's a hothead. Even if it is just a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. And when him and my mom fight, he seriously tries to kill him. She seriously tries to kill him. Being in Yakuza means you can't even kill the man you love to get your point across. <laughs> I've been hearing stuff like that since, but before I was old enough to understand what's, go what's, going, around what's going on around me. That's a pretty outrageous home life. The world we both live in couldn't be more different. Like... There were a few times when I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' Peckle. fightings. Whenever something like that happens, Pekko was always there by my side. Ah, I'm sorry I made you remember something huh? painful. Well, you don't need to apologize for that, you strange bastard. But still, I'm the rightful successor of the Yukazuri clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> by the time I was in second grade, I didn't cry even if I lost the fight. I see. Good for hey, you. Hey, bastard. Good for me. Don't treat me like a kid. I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyway, he, it's not much, but I am starting to get to know Fiyuko a little better. I'm talking to Fiyuko about some other things. I parted ways with him and returned to my room. Yeah. <laughs> should hang out with Chiaki. But then again, she would be very helpful in situations like this. So it only makes sense. I should invite. Damn right. Well, I guess it's not so bad talking to you once in a while. <sighs> I got a text message. Uh... Oh, hey, how are you? <laughs> it's a friend. Uh, yes. I guess 
think I'd give him a non-alcoholic wine. But then again... Why would he like that? Wait a minute, what about the Stardust? Will he like that? Ahem! <clears throat> It does sound like something fitting for a Yakuza, so why not go to something that actually has meaning to it? Here, a bottle of Are you kidding me? This is an iron rare. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> hey, Hajime. Yeah. Friends, what can we do without them? Oh, never mind, it's nothing. Huh? No, now I want to know. Shut up! What? Mind your own business. It's just, you know, looking for something. Huh? I mean, shut the mock up, it's not like I'm looking for anything. You seem strange on it. I just had that, I wouldn't feel so mad off. But someone always at the supermarket. But there, someone's always at the supermarket, so I can't just calm down and look for it. Shoot, I feel like I'm going through through withdrawal or something. He's starting to sound a little dangerous, but this means there's something he wants, right? One of those people like I was talking about. Is it candy? Vitamin C or calcium? Well, he doesn't the baby look, so maybe we'll talk about that. I'm pretty sure this is wrong, but you want to eat something sweet? What? How do you know that? I, if you tell anyone about this, I'm gonna bury you next to that mountain over there. This is the fun house! <laughs> oh, I get it. It's dialogue for earlier in the game. Well, that's okay. What, I seriously got it right? Um, sweet things calm your nerves, and they also nourish your brain. So it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Shut up. But still. It'll be embarrassing if I never knew that the era of the Yukazawa and like eating fried dough cookies. I like fried dough cookies too. They taste best when you eat them with milk. Bastard! Hey, you bastard! Never say that again! A fried cookie. Don't fuck with me! No, the other one! Oh, Mitt. Didn't you hear what I said? I seriously bury you! This is bad. His eyes look really intense. I never see anyone who gets a matter of milk. If only my cup were stronger, even I could. Shoot. I want to swallow it all in one go, you know, but with my height. It really doesn't have to be so hostile towards milk. There are other ways to get calcium. I don't know if this is a good time to say something like that. Yeah. Oh, you laughed, didn't you? No, I didn't! No, you definitely laughed. It doesn't show on your face, but I can tell you're laughing on the inside. Look, you... I won't let you forget this! Fiego mumbled under his breath, and he'd be walking away in a hurry. Well, that was an honest with the side of Fiego. But he talks like that, he's like he's a completely normal guy for his age. In fact, oops, I might be in danger. It might be dangerous to even think about completely, completely that thought. <sighs> well, after I watch you get leave, I return to my room. I think the best thing we do. It should be time for me to move around the free. Uh, maybe I should go back and up. Apologize? At least. Ah, uh, hi. I came here to apologize. I can't even tell what time it is because there's no monkey windows. Shoot, this sucks. I wanna hang out with him. You wanna hang out with me? Man, you're pretty weird. Looks like you and I grew a little closer. Yes, but what should I give you? Hmm, that's the biggest question of them all. Oh. <sighs> Not 
Nagito on the dots. Man. was another bottle, so it's another bow. So it's a Yakuza film, so I might as well give him that. I see you're giving me that to me. That's pretty huh. considerate. You make an awesome hey. underling. Hey, Hajime, is there any woman who's important to you? What kind of question is that? It's fine. Do you have one or not? Well, honestly, I never seriously thought huh. about it. Like, you're such a kid. If you didn't have one, I was gonna tell you to take good care of her, but I guess it's a bit for you. But when you do have one someday, make sure you take good care of her. Don't be like me. I have lost two important women. Oh yeah, Pico committed her crime because his listener huh? was killed. Oh there, don't feel sorry for me. It's not like I want to make this awkward. <laughs> but if my sister was still alive, I really wanted you guys to meet her. You'd probably be shocked. If you put it like that, she must have been one luck of a sister. You! Do you know what my sister's ultimate talent was? She was the ultimate little sister. Isn't that funny? The ultimate little sister? How is she not? Awesome. How is she an awesome little sister? It's hard to put it into words exactly. Anyway, she was definitely an amazing sister. She was always making a fool out of me, but it was always cute when she needed my help. Plus, if she cooked fried noodles during the temple festival, a huge line would form outside the temple. And she got an insane number of contacts from hand toweling companies, you know. She was self-centered, selfish, extremely arrogant, but even so she had a little subtle way of making people do what so. she want. She definitely deserved to be called the ultimate Yakuza. Within the clan, she was even called the reincarnation of my uncle, who was the most powerful of the Yakuza. The most power of the Yakuza? It's like I know more about that too. It's before my time, so I don't really know the details, but apparently he was known as the Overlord of the South. They say his final confrontation with a detective who was pursuing him nearly destroyed the world. And well, that's obviously just a rumor. Of course it's just a rumor. That'll be outrageous. I... Well, anyway, she was really annoying little sister who made me mad. And even though she was one, the only little sister I ever had, even when a fraction within the crazy clan wanted to make her out of our next leader, she said this, I don't want to leave the clan. The reason I'm so amazing is because I'm your sister. <laughs> she said that even though she was better than me at everything, to you, your sister must truly be the ultimate little <laughs> sister. And yeah, maybe. But still, when she said that to me, I couldn't accept it. All I could do was yell at her, say, You Lee, I can live by I... myself. Just how small was I? Who are you, Hiko? Why am I even talking to you about huh? this? It's only, you know, a harmless look face of yours. And then I got blown <laughs> an insult. Anyway. Well, anyway, sorry about that. I guess I got all sentimental in a shift. After all. I really don't mind. If you think I look like someone who is to talk, who's easy to talk to, then I'll listen. If you don't, to you as much as you want. <laughs> don't act like hot, not like hot trashy virgin. I see. So you're not. Shut up! So don't talk back to me so calmly. You the one who brought it up. Even though it happened gradually, I know Vigo is slowly opening up to me. Once again, I feel like I was able to understand Vigo a little bit. Changing the subject and talking about other things for a while, I returned to my room. What time is it right now? Huh? It's already 10 p.m.? Just as I thought, I can't sense of what time it is when there are no windows of Monokuma's announcements. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry about it, even if I have my limits. <laughs> oh, oh you are you gonna do? Please, are you lying already? It's only your second day! It's so jeez of you to do this, that, and all I can say is jeez! Viva killing! You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start the killing already! What do you want? I thought you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? News! Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? 
You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. <laughs> in order for you guys to get your energy back, I write a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please get us a great time tomorrow morning at 7 p.m. There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility, so figure it out, by the way. Delay is strictly permitted. Okay, then. Goodbye. Service with all your heart, huh? Hmm. There's no question about that it's the next motive to stir us up. It doesn't take a genius to figure it out. Sorry, my friends just keep texting me. Jeez. Well, let's get to it. It's not it's no use. My stomach feels so empty, I can't stop thinking about food. I know if I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Shoot. And went to sleep. Sorry, my friend just keeps texting me to war. They haven't talked to me in such a long time, so I'm not really sorry. I don't care, Monokuma. I don't want to hear it. Not, I will probably in the next Danganronpa game, but not this one. I'm not in the mood. All zombies must be from hunger. What time is it now? I don't know why. It's slower than usual, but head straight to the lounge. Hmm. 6 a.m. It's a miracle. I was able to wake up. Their call is bad if we don't gather at the Great Tower by Summer Pop. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I should go for now. Can I just... Oh, I can just... Uh, okay. I can walk down there. I need a level up anyway. First floor, stairs. I level up by walking down those stairs. Oh, hi, Icon! Can we all just take a moment, stand right here, and just pray for Sakura? If it wasn't for her, we would not have found out some very important clues. Not to mention, her sacrifice to prevent another death of a friend. She took her own life. She took her own life to save us and to help us progress. This woman deserves a salute for her honor, sacrifice, and bravery. Rest in peace, Sakura. Okay, let's continue. I don't want to get too sentimental because you know how people are these days. Everyone who gathered here has pale faces. Uh. Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining, you're bringing me down. I mean... I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, but we have been forced to come here early in the morning. It isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. We're getting screwed the most, obviously. We're more tired than everyone else. And we have to take the contact elevator to get here from the Strawberry House. We have to walk all the way from the Strawberry Hall to the elevator, and then we have to walk all the way over here. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn, so obviously we're more tired than you guys. Hey! Jeez, you're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> I am in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? 
man, you guys are already starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. You got a lot of nerve coming here. Um, now that you, now that we have all gathered here, it's early in the morning. We need to make us do No, no. We want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? Hey, you lose your drive because you're burning rubber down to Honda the highway, right? I'm offering a service to you so that you can all feel healthy again. So, on this day bar, I like to make Monica a Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Tai Chi? All right, start the music. <sighs> make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Three, two. Control your breathing slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a circle. You can tell that no one, not everyone's gonna participate in this. Cause if you look at them, they're all literally trash right now. They feel like trash, they, they look like trash, and they look like they're in a big mess. Two. Yeah. Naturally, just as you are, relax your body. It's clearly affecting my hunger. Why is it that we need this? Don't dawdle! Stay healthy is definitely super important. Oh my god, we did a bunch of pointless exercise thanks to you, and now we're hungrier than ever! I can't move. The road to good health is not as easy as one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardiness or absence. Make sure you remember that. That is. You intend to keep making us do Damn this? It. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna last Damn till it. tomorrow. Enough already! How much longer this isn't going to last? This is troubling. Did he say until the killing this starts? This too must be the possibility will of, of those causality. words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists, if this persists any longer, it wouldn't surprise me if something really did happen. Damn it! I don't want to die in a place like this. My friends just keep texting me, jeez. Thank you for your concern, and thank you. Let's continue. If I'm going to die in a place like this, I might as well. What are you saying? Calm Shut down! Up. Shut up! I can't mucking calm Damn down! It. There's no food, there's no way to escape. If this goes on, everyone's going to starve to death. Hey. Wait, are you telling us just to wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill huh? each other. Did you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? Got it. So just making saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you hey. saying? Best up, you've been secretly getting food from your boob future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear you better. So making a scene is just gonna make us hungrier, so let's just calm down for now. You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. It appears you cannot Wait, escape. To die from impending starvation or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it's a rather difficult I... situation. Which is true hope. I'll just follow that everyone else is <laughs> If you're gonna choose, you should hurry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. Conversation ended there. I think somebody had the energy to keep talking and arguing, so we silently left the great tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. I says the balance is off. I like I'm a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. I'll just leave this matter alone. Something bad might happen. It's like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. Another free time. <laughs> free time! Woo! But he is right. Sorry, my friends just like to talk, to talk, talk. Jeez! But hey, that means I'm not lonely. <laughs> Guys, 
Cars of Egypt. Where are you? Cars of Egypt. Yoo hoo! Oh, there you are. <laughs> All right, talk. He walked away. Doesn't he think I'm a traitor? Oh, now you're ignoring me, you piece of trash! On second thought, I shouldn't just say that. Forgive me. Man, road? Well, I guess there's no point in staying here. Better chance hanging out with him. Hey, bastard! Tai Chi, is he monkey serious? Wow. On second thought, let me save just in case something bad happens. But jeez! Kazuichi, you're a jerk! Man! Well, he may think I tried to poison him, so I guess. Hey, bastard! Well, he'll do anything to cause us to kill each other, so it wouldn't be surprising. Uh, if I, huh? I hate go to, I'm just gonna tell you right now, hanging out with someone like me isn't all that fun. Whatever. Accept it. Logan Life and I grew a little closer. Yes, definitely. Uh, non-alcohol wine. Sure, why not? I don't like this. So you're trying to suck on me? Do you really think I can take bribes? Well, that's fine, I accept Damn it. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, what's the first thing you want to do when you get out of here? Let's see. First, I want to find a safe place to relax and get some decent huh. sleep. <laughs> that sounds great to me. Geez, compared to this place, I'd rather stay at a prison. That's an odd comparison. At least this place has soft beds and beautiful oceans and entertaining. Heh, <laughs> you're right. What about you? What are you going I... to do? Me? First, I'm going to visit my sister's grave. I also need to hold a funeral for Pekko, even though there's nothing left of her. And for Mahiru as well. I see, you're right. Hey, Hajime, I think you're pretty awesome, you know. When it comes to me and the others, at least we know where our confidence is coming from. But you? That part of you is missing. But despite that, you don't let it get to you. You kept a cool head through all this so far. Giving me way too much credit. I'm just trying to endure everything the best I can. That's what I'm talking about. It's amazing not that you're even able to endure Someone all this. Someone like me. I'm blindly rushing into revenge without thi without thinking things through, with no concern for anything else. In the end, I can't take I can't take back the consequences of that decision. Hey. But after seeing you and the others keep it together, I feel like I'm starting to see what I need to be focusing on right now. We will definitely survive and escape here, and I'll do anything to make that happen. If not Pekka Mahiro, everyone's death will go to waste. And that's when I realized, this one is the same for you, Ego. Because of you, I met when we first arrived at this island. This is a man who have overcome great hardships. What can I do from now on? I don't know, but I know what can I say right now. Vigo, let's definitely escape this island, okay? What do we do? Would it be alright if we visit the, their graves huh? together? Huh? Well, yeah, I'm sure that will make them happy. Hey, bastard! And haunt me. That part of you may be missing, but I think there's still something there. Because I was able to talk to you like this, and I was able to reflect on my past. And from there, I was able to huh. move forward. That's it. Maybe your talent is that you're the ultimate counselor. What the muck? I don't want a talent like that. That sounds like I'll be... It'll be stressful. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's only perfect for you. Our somber conversation took an unexpected, light-hearted turn. And we laughed harder than we had in a while. <laughs> Ways with you can return to my room for now. <laughs> Another free time. Map. I'm giving him one last time. Hello? 
How should I put this? I'm gonna stop suspecting you for now. I mean, it's a waste of energy anyway. I want to hang out with you so that way I can actually tell you some, yeah, to tell you good reasons why I am not the not the traitor. I mean, it could still be anyone around us. Man. Well, even if we do talk, there's nothing to talk about. I don't have the energy to talk anyway. Well, take it. Well, he is hungry right now, and I think that's a concern of some of this stuff. A second, that since we're all in the starving situation, I think it's best if I just give him this. The coconut juice. Ooh, can I seriously have this? I feel bad, but thanks. Man, Man why did this happen? We're on tropical island, you know, surrounded by a blue sea, you know, and there are plenty... Plenty... of ladies here, too, so why do we have to be involved in this killing nonsense? Although Kazuichi and Tens are probably not pure, I agree with what he says. If this was a normal school trip, it would have been really fun. Uh. Man, and here I thought I was finally going on... Going to go on a school trip for the very first time. First time. Did you... Didn't you go on one during middle school? <laughs> I was supposed to, but I ditched it. I am um, fake being sick and stayed mm. home. Well, I had a lot of reasons, but my family is really poor. My classmates were really much a bunch of boring to hurt. Oh, I always like, who cares if I don't go to school? Man, my friends just like to talk, talk, talk. Jeez. But hey, even in situations like this, let them talk. They're always there to help cheer you up. Well... But my old man found a letter and beat the muck out of me. Well, obviously, I probably would be mad about that. But I sometimes got yelled at for ditching school, even during elementary and middle school, hey. too. My stupid old man, he knew better than anyone that he, that he didn't have any money. <laughs> so he run a bike shop at my place, but I'm seriously hard to sell bikes these days. The only customers we get now just a flat tire fixed or air pumped. <laughs> but yeah, despite that, I'm the genius mechanic of my family. I can take a lo look if a bike or car needs fixing, and I can fix anything from kids' toys to household appliances. Well, that's of pretty course. amazing. Well, I've been surrounded by junk and tools ever since I was born. So I just have a habit of taking things apart and putting them back together. I see, though, that's the environment the ultimate mechanic was raised hey. in. My old man was just hopeless, though, so I'm always the one who's helping out at the shop. Really? In fact, to tell you the truth, I was really excited when we first arrived at this island. Everyone here was... everything... everyone here was pr pretty colorful... has pretty colorful personalities, and they all seem like interesting people. <laughs> I was really looking forward to enjoying my youth days here. To all this happened. Uh, Shoot. It's my dream, you know. I've always wanted to go on a trip with my friends and stuff. Man. Oh, wait. There's no close enough yet to call each other friends, huh? I don't know how... I don't know when people suddenly decide they're friends or not. Is this we seem to have same goals? Maybe we can at least call each other comrades? Mm. Comrades, huh? <laughs> Hey, that sounds pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to working with you, comrade. Because we extended his hands and I gripped it. I tried to let go, but for some reason, because he was glaring at me and... So, Hajime... Who are you aiming for? What are you talking you know, about? Right? It's not obvious. I'm talking about the ladies. Depending on your answer, the alarm clock in your room may be modified into a time bomb. If you had time to make something like that, you should spend the actual being productive. It's really amazing that he's able to think about that kind of stuff at a time like this. But despite his looks, Kazuichi seems like a pretty normal guy. I learned a bit about about Kazuichi today. There we go. We got a report card from Kazuichi. All right. It's no use. I think I reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. If this keeps going. If this keeps going until I die. What am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously going to go crazy. Okay, then I need to find an exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Shoot. Where the fuck is the exit? The final devil is a challenge. still that place. Nobody's gone inside there yet. 
A life-threatening game is just another one I'm gonna come apply. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right, that's definitely it there. I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I barely need any left. I can't even run decent. He wasn't kidding! I can't hardly run! I'm not kidding! I can hardly run! I could help pacing both hands on the wall, bracing myself. If I win the light earning game here, I'll be able to go to the octagon place, right? That's what, where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out with this. Hold I can finally it. get out. You can't do it's that. Bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chieka. The exit's gonna be in here. There is no exit. And that there is a life earning game. Even if you clear... You only obtained the weapon that Monica would prepare. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense, weird look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's right? back, Hajime, okay? Chucky and I went back to Grape House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of star starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay just to lay here and take it, or...? This morning I couldn't help feeling angry that I sat, I sat in front of everyone, but I don't really think that this is okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. How long was I asleep? Her game my question is a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. Was that? It's not just now. Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground moving. Maybe I'm just confused? As soon as I mumbled that, a feel of exhaustion that filled me with anger towards everything of my body. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. No. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to know more about you. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I wake up, my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Freezing cold, and then the core of my body gets numb, but I need to go to the Great Tower. If I don't go, the Monica Matachi, everyone will suffer. Somehow, I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawl out of bed. What time is it? Though I feel incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. I really don't want to go waste my energy, particularly in that activity. But I ignore my Akuma's rules, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Great Tower. Oh my gosh! I'm incredibly slow! This is not good. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, Hajime, good morning! Sonia, you see me again. <laughs> What's that Amazing! Oh my goodness, Hajime! When did your face become all black all of a sudden? She's on her drive. She's extremely dangerous. Um, um, just the corner is fine, so make it a bite out of you. May I take a bite out of you? Um, you get, you'll get a stomachache. Oh my god, that's an adorable shark cake. That's wrong. I'm not a shark cake. I'm Chiaki. Chiaki too. You two, are you about to head over to the yep. Great Tower? It's almost time. Come on. If you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Why well, get the feeling something's gonna happen? 
just realized. Then I pressed the button. When I pressed the button, the door from the main suddenly opened. It was very sudden. That right, it was always sudden. The door to despair always opened suddenly. No! Another murder! <gasps> On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. Oh God, no! The ultimate ro robot's dream of clockwork. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A violent shiver course through my body. My heart began to pump faster and faster as I could feel the blood on my hand pulsating intensely. My teeth were clattering with horror. What the mug is this? When I finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Why? Why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally, he finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please just tell me, wake up. I'll get there any other way to describe it. Nakamaru! No! No more rest! Based on our situation, and a buddy discovery announcement, it's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. I can't deny the truth, but why? As unusual as that was on the world, I could see that. Hey! Hey, what happened? Akane! Move! Move, Move it! Akane pushed me aside. I ran straight over to Nekomaru. Why? Why is Nekomaru... Why did he have to die again? Akane, I am so sorry. Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. <laughs> How cruel. This is just too much. Why did Nakamaro have to die? But his appearance was drastically altered. He still came back oh. to us. Why? Why does this always happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this was always the result. Is this something I can't Damn it. stop? Hey, Nakamaro, got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means. I right? won't forgive you. Hey, who did it? Who killed Nakamaro? Aya! Looks like someone has finally pumped up! You! You! Do you know who did it right? Who what? Nakamaru? What do you Don't want? Don't get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I'm in a lot of trouble bringing Nakamaru back from the dead, and he's already let the killer break <laughs> him. I felt disapprovingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws. <laughs> you know, because he's a you robot. About Nakamaru? Are you... Akane, calm you... down! Use those powers that your anger has awoken for the investigation. Uh, Amonokuma, is there any way you can fix hmm. Nakamaru? I could fix it if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. Plus, the last time this happened, it was my, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is a one yep. of you. I'm under no obligation to fix it for you. I guess it's, I guess it was a waste of time to ask. In other words, a life that dies once will rush, will once will never return twice. That's so... reality for you. So even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the. The Monokuma fight. The ultimate coach, now dead. I was expecting someone else, not him. But if you think about it, he would make the perfect target. Great. Well, now we are in the middle of another murder, and we have to investigate it. Also, this is a gift for me to you. Bread, bean, bread, and milk. 
Sometimes you guys are part of this. The killing went off with a hit. I'm fine. Yeah, I know. Speed, you guys probably won't last a lot. Enough for the glass shadow. I'll definitely find out who killed that girl. And after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm gonna eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can unleash my full power. You're right. If we're going to avenge Mekomaru, we gotta regain as much energy as we can. Shoot. I'm gonna See? eat. Come on, Hajime, you too. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Shoot, I never expect I feel this terrible when I finally eat hey, again. Hey, hey! Yes, so it'll be bad if you got a stomachache. We are food in silence. Slowly my blood began coursing through my veins. I got a slowly regained feeling in my numb body. Isn't mm. that wonderful? Well, I ain't gotten your energy back. Then let's hurry up and start already. Do it. The cure and you! I'm gonna beat the trash out of both of you with my bare hands! Forever. Um, regardless of whether we start or not, what happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys at Strawberry House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Mm. That's weird. They should have come through Great Tower because we have Monokuma Tai Chi. Jeez, how unacceptable! I never expect all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. What are you gonna do? Well, that's what happened anyway. I guess this is what it is. Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us? Do too? your best. Now do your best investigate. I'll see you again. <sighs> I hear something. Um, what do you uh, hear? Could it be that Kamaru? Of course not. He is already dead. Yo. Oh well, not at the time to worry about that sound. That sound. What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um, what about Gundam and the others? Is it all right that we, that we have not summoned them here? They're gonna come here soon anyway. Not that the time to worry about them. You're right, they should heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Or something happens to them! Yeah. Then we should start the investigation soon. Yeah, you're right. I gotta do it. I have to do it. We're gonna look at the Monokuma file. Yes. Nakamaru. His body was discovered in a great house, which is inside the fun house. His head was severely damaged and beyond repair. That shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, three limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they're separate due to their deserved impact. Aside from the separate areas of his bodies are damaged, because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. Sounds like we're detached, and it looks like they're separated due to a severe impact. Does that mean Nekomaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? Or what? But what was the reason they needed to club him over and over again? Well, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, press that like button. Want to see more videos? This is maybe subscribe. I totally appreciate it. This video, friends, in the comments below. Thank you for playing. Or if you just want to do, check out some other videos you think you might like. And as always, do this video. On this next investigation, we're going to find out who killed Nekamaru. And as always, I'll see you all in the next upcoming video. Goodbye, everybody.